Entonces le pongo un punto. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you doing today, people? Hello, hello. How's it going? I'm fine. Thank you so much. And what about the rest of the people? How's it going? Everything okay? I fight ten teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. Excellent. Perfect. I am happy and good to know that one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Welcome, everyone. We're going to get started with some information. So at this moment, as you know, we begin with the attendance. So let me get started with that information. So we begin with practice for today. Let me see on this. Remember, when you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are part of the video conference. Let's see, Alejandra Gabriela Perez. Alejandra Gabriela Perez. I'm not at this moment. I continue. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Azucena Enriquez de López. Present. Thank you. Brian Joel Morrodas. Present. Thank you. Carolina Abigail Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Cindy Tatiana Vázquez. Cindy Tatiana, probably not at this moment. I continue. Cira Berfalia Aguilar. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cindy Tatiana, for your confirmation in the in the chat. Thank you. Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Janet Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Evelyn, let's see, Evelyn Ab Abigail Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Fátima del Carmen. All right, I continue. Giselle Maria Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Indira Nirvana Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Ivania Guevara. Ana Ivania. Probably not at this moment. Jose Hernan Maravilla Martinez. Probably not available at this moment. I continue. Josue Abraham Lopez. Josue Abraham Lopez. All right, I continue. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Present. Thank you. Carla Lizette Mendez. Present. Thank you. Then Luis Daniel Rosa. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Madeline Beatriz Moran. Present. Thank you. Maria Jose Sandoval. Maria Jose, probably not available at this moment. Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlon Napoleon Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Rina Present. Estela Garcia. Present. Thank you. Rolando Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Stephanie Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Let's see, Sandra Marisol Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. Tito Alberto Hernández. Present. Thank you. And Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you so much, everyone, for your confirmation. At this moment, I just I just have just few comments for you about some useful information. Let me see on this one. All right. 
I have some information for you about uh, the registration for the next course. And that's why I want to, uh, I want to take just one minute to take on that one. And I will switch to Spanish just to be quick and precise. Nada más eh, hacerles el comentario que creo que a partir de este día ya se les va a hacer llegar la información para la inscripción del siguiente módulo. Entonces, no sé si el... Ok, yeah. perfecto. Entonces, a alguno ya le llegó y si no le ha llegado, le va a llegar. No se preocupe, ¿verdad? Porque la información la va, la va a recibir, ¿verdad? Para la inscripción del curso, motivarles, ¿verdad? A mandar los documentos requeridos. Ahí eh, la información se le ha hecho llegar a cada uno de ustedes. Si usted conoce de primera mano cuáles son los requisitos y lo que usted debe presentar. Así que animarle a completar su proceso a tiempo. ¿verdad? Para no perder la oportunidad de ser parte siempre de este curso. Igualmente, aparte de invitarles a, a entregar sus documentos, invitarles también a completar la plataforma. Recordando que eso es, eh, son de los requisitos necesarios para inscripción del siguiente módulo. Así que no olviden completar la plataforma, porque si bien pudiéramos tener todos los documentos en línea, eh, verdad en orden y enviarlos en el tiempo correspondiente si no cumplimos con tiempo de conexión que sería tener por lo menos un 80% de conexión e igualmente eh, tener la plataforma completa un 80% si no se cumple con eso lamentablemente puede que quedamos fuera de la oportunidad de seguir aprendiendo inglés en este curso así que nada más el llamado a, de atención. Yo sé que algunos la plataforma ya la han avanzado, uno ya la terminaron y eso es muy bueno, ya cumplimos con un requisito. El otro es siempre estar acá presente para las videoconferencias en lo que resta de acá y no perdernos ninguna, ¿verdad? Así que eso sería otro de los requisitos y les quería comentar para que estemos al tanto de la información. ¿Ok? Questions at this moment about the info. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. All right. Thank you. Sí, 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 sí. Tell me. Una pregunta. ¿Qué es? A mí no me ha llegado nada de información de eso de solicitar un para el siguiente modo o algo así. Sí, es muy probable que le llegue lo más pronto posible. Por eso les decía, a algunos ya les llegó. Entonces, qué bien. Pero todavía no se ha cerrado el curso en el cual están mandando la información. ¿verdad? Así que es eh, muy probable que lo más pronto posible eh, usted reciba el dato y si no, igualmente usted ya tiene el contacto con mis compañeros de administración y si usted gusta puede preguntarles, ¿verdad? De que, de que yo les mencioné, porque es la instrucción que yo tengo, recordarles de, de que el proceso se ha iniciado, más no se ha terminado, así que no vaya a querer decir, me dejaron sin invitación, va, no, tampoco, no nos vean por ese lado. Espero que le llegue lo más pronto posible, pero si usted puede haber indagar por su parte, démosle, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Pregúnteles, ¿ok? Esa sería la invitación por si no hemos recibido el dato al, a este momento. Sí, ya yes, tengo yes, una yes. duda. Sí, sí. La pregunta es... Uh -huh. Ok, let's see. Uh, déjenme escuchar primero a Rina, después a Esmeralda, y no sé si Claudia también tenía una duda. Vamos a comenzar con Rina. Okay. Este, con relación al curso al otro nivel, o sea, a, mí, a mí todavía no me ha llegado la invitación, ¿verdad? Pero este, tengo una consulta. ¿Uno va a poder seleccionar nuevamente los horarios o ya quedamos fijos con estos horarios? Híjole, buen punto y me agarra en curva con esa pregunta. Ahí sí le, le fallo porque no sé la información. No sé si usted tiene algún, eh, un, alguna preferencia por otro horario. Lo que pasa es que con relación a mi trabajo, yo estoy una semana adentro y una semana fuera. Y de hecho, hoy que empezaron, empezamos las clases, estaba de vacación, entonces me salió perfecto, ¿verdad? Ah. Pero ya mañana me presento a trabajar, entonces el horario que tengo ahorita es rotativo. Ah, okay. entonces, este, y me sale favorable porque yo salgo a las 8 de la noche, entonces ya a las 9 me puedo conectar. Pero esta semana y la siguiente ya sí me abarco un horario de 6 de la mañana hasta 10 de la noche. Entonces, para ver si uno de mis compañeros, tal vez en el transcurso del día, me puede cubrir por lo menos una hora en la semana que yo estoy trabajando. Por eso ah, preguntaba. Okay. ok, 
Ok, muy, muy atinada su pregunta y lamento no tener la respuesta. Pero si gusta puede contactarse con mis compañeros de administración. Igualmente, pues eh, la idea es que usted pueda continuar con nosotros aprendiendo. ¿verdad? Y si algún horario no le favorece, eh, tenemos más horarios disponibles. Y yo creo que no habría ninguna objeción con que usted diga, hey, en este no puedo cumplir, pues porque aunque usted quiera puede hacer que no cumpla con el tiempo de conexión y eso al, al final le va a afectar, ¿verdad? El objetivo es que siga aprendiendo con nosotros. Entonces, eh, puede conversar con mis compañeros y ellos le dan el dato más específico. ¿Ok? Gracias. Thank you. Esmeralda, your question, tell me. La pregunta era con respecto a la ficha que hay que enviar de nuevo. ¿Es uh -huh. la misma ficha que llenamos al principio? ¿O ¿Qué? ellos nos van a hacer llegar otra ficha diferente? Buen punto. Creería que para cada módulo se tiene que llenar eh, una ficha de inscripción nueva. Por lo tanto, creo que tiene que llegarle algo diferente a la que ya tenemos. Porque para cada ejecución, ya el documento me imagino que incluye fechas específicas, cuando iniciamos, cuando terminamos, el, el número bien específico, por lo menos el, el nivel. Entonces, creería yo que se les haría llegar otra diferente y no se utilizaría la anterior. Eso es lo que yo creo, ¿verdad? Pero estemos atentos que nos pueda llegar. Ok, está bien, gracias. Bueno, all right, thank you. And the next person was Claudia, if I'm not mistaken. No sé si Claudia tenía alguna pregunta. Claudia Lisa. No, teacher. No, ok. All right. No, teacher. No. Ok. Ya me llegó el documento. Ok. That's nice. Mm. That's nice. Uh, may I continue? No, teacher. Go ahead. Eh, bueno, te, a la fecha ultim, el, bueno, el último día para poder enviar la encuesta, ¿qué día sería? Eh, no sé si ese dato se los han compartido con ustedes. A mí me encomendaron la labor de recordarles que ya tenían el dato. Me imagino, no me imagino, yo sé que mis compañeros cuando mandan ese dato siempre adjuntan toda la información necesaria. Entonces, si no le ha llegado el correo, esperemos que le llegue. Igualmente, ellos lo van a hacer con un tiempo prudencial para que usted también pueda completarlo. Y no es como que se lo manden ahora en la noche y mañana es última fecha. ¿verdad? Entonces, mis compañeros sí estarán bien al tanto de esa acción. Ok, gracias. Bueno, no more questions at this moment. We start with the class. Then. All right, thank you. Let's get started. Thank you so much. Let me switch on the view. Perfect, perfect. All right, for today, we have some information about session number nine. And in this one, we're talking about the unit, I'm not wearing boots. In a specific, we check on the information for possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives. Take a look at this information. Checking on vocabulary at this moment. We have 10 numbers in the pictures and we have the name of the, I think the, of the clothing items is covered, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Take a look at number one and tell me what is the name of that clothing item? Number one, what is it? Jacket. Jacket. Thank you, perfect everyone, that's jacket. a jacket. Thank you. Take a look at number number two, right? The, the, the lady is wearing something in, in white. What is it? How do you call it? Thank you. You call it blouse. Thank you. Blouse. Take a look blouse. at, thank you. Take a look at number three. Number three is the combination of the jacket and the combination of the pants. Right, a combination of jacket and the pants for the boys. How do you call that? Suit. Thank you. Suit. You call it suit. Thank suit. you. Suit. suit. Perfect. Thank you. Take a look at number four. We are talking about a yellow clothing item. What is it? Well done, everybody. Well done. Well done. 
talk about the raincoat. Thank you, thank you. Take a look at the next one, number five. The lady has something in her neck. What is it? A scar. A scar. A scar. Excellent. Thank you so much. A scar. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Take a look at the next one. Number six. What is it? Boots. 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 Thank you. Take Boots. a look at number seven. What is it? Gloves. 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 Thank you so much. We talk about the gloves. Take a look at number eight. What is it? Sneakers. 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 Thank you, thank you. Sneakers. Take a look at number nine. We have a, a clothing item in green. What is it? Cup. 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 And finally, Cup. Cup. and finally, take a look at these women's Clothing item, what is it? High heels. High heels. High heels. Perfect. High heels. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's perfect. We talk about high heels. Thank you so much. At this moment, I am going to ask some people to mention on your favorite clothes, right? Because probably we prefer a type of clothes for a different occasion. For example, for me in general, I love to be on a t-shirt, shorts and sneakers. That is my perfect outfit for me, in shorts all the time because it is really hot. I don't like jeans too much. And these shirts, uh, not so much. I prefer t-shirts. That is my perfect, my perfect style. But what about you, Miss, let's see. Miss Azucena Enriquez, what clothes do you prefer? I I like uh, uh, shorts uh, and t-shirt, mm -hmm. sneakers. <laughs> sneakers, all right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What about you, Miss Mariana Dolores? What is your, what is, or what are the clothing items that you prefer? What is your style? I like shirts, blues, and shorts. Shorts, right? Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Blouse is a nice option. Thank you so much. A blouse, nice. What about you, Tito? What's your style? What's your outfit? Uh, my, my style is uh, the sneaker, uh, short, and uh, cup. In a cup? Yes. Excellent. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What about for you, Madeline Beatriz? What clothing items are your favorite to wear? I wear pants. Short sneakers and blouse. And blouse. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. What about you, Xiomara? What can you tell us about your outfit? What are your favorite I think, uh, clothing items? I prefer jeans hmm? and t-shirts. And t-shirts. Or shorts. All mm -hmm. right. And what about shoes? Boots, shoes or sneakers or high heels? Sneakers. Sneakers. Sneakers all the time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, what about for you? Let's see. Miss. Let's see. Miss Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Tell me, what are your favorite clothing items? What's your style? My, my favorite style is a dress. Ah, perfect. A dress. <laughs> and. High heels. High heels. Oh, very elegant. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> perfect, perfect. That's nice. Good option. In this moment, yes. right? And that is not uh, not something bad, but the changing generation, the new ladies, they don't like dresses. Not much, right? Jeans, 
shorts or leggings, but dresses, probably not so much. And that's fine, but perfect. It depends on preference. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And let's see, what about you, Brian, Joalmo? What is what about your favorite clothing items? What's your style? Mr. Brian. All right, probably not available at this moment. What about you, Napoleon, Marlon Napoleon? What can you tell us about your favorite clothing items? Uh, I like clothes, short, short. Uh, t-shirt, mm -hmm. sneakers. Uh, sneakers, right? Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. Just check on, uh, that is as a general feedback. Take on the pronunci pronunciation of blouse, right? blouse and also check on the pronunciation of a of t-shirt t-shirt right because in that case you talk about t-shirt or you talk about teacher all right take a look at this one take a the, imagine that you say i like teachers okay that's optional right no problem but be careful right Chequemos en la pronunciación por ahí, ¿verdad? Podemos decir camisas, t-shirts, that's fine. O la otra, teachers, son los maestros, ¿verdad? Y si usted dice, I like sí. teachers, ah, ya me va a dar un poco de penita a mí, ¿verdad? No problem, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Estoy bromeando, no problem. But check on that one. Pequeñitos detalles que son muy importantes en cuestión de pronunciación, ¿verdad? Así que eh, veamos por ahí la diferencia. T-shirt, teacher. Right? Check on that one. Perfect. Thank you so much. Take a look at this one. This is our review and we have some extra information. We have the different pronouns and also we have possessive adjectives. As you can see on this one, uh, talking about the possessive adjective, I can say I, talking about the person. And to show possession, I can say my, for example, my cell phone. Right? In this case, showing possession for something that is mine. What about for your, for you? What is the possessive adjective? Your. Your, mm. thank you, right? Your name is, right? Your name is. What about for he? His, his, his. Excellent. his. Excellent, his. For she? Her, 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 her. 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 Thank you so her. much. What about for we? Our. Or, or, right? or, or, or. Or. Thank you so much. Or. And what about for they? They are. They are. They are. They are. Excellent. There. Perfect. 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 You check on this one. My, your, his, her, our, their. Talking about our the there. positive adjectives. Take a look at the next one. And this could be possible, uh, possibly new information. Possessive pronouns. In this case, I can say, for example, my cell phone, or I can use the other form, mine, mine. right? To express mine. some, and in, in the two cases, mine. we express mine. mine. What about for your, what's the possessive of that? Yours. 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 Perfect. Yours. What about for his or he? Him. 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 His. Him. his. Thank you. His. Talking about his. Perfect. What about for she? What is the possessive pronoun? Hers. 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 Excellent. Hers. Thank you. Hers. What about for we? What's the possessive pronoun? Ours. Our. Our. Ours. Thank you. Ours. Mission ours. Perfect. Ours. And what ours. about for they? There's. 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 All right. Perfect. Perfect. Check on that one. I see some happy faces and I see others that you look worried. I'll be algunos contentos y algunos los veo preocupados. What happened? New information. <laughs> los veo bien sorprendidos con la información. All right. Remember to work on the platform, please. Remember that is an important element for these practices. Thank you. Now we're going to check the information in context because we see at this moment we know the information. Let's give it a function, right? 
take a look at this one. What object do we have on the screen at this moment? What is that? Object. Scarf. It is a? Scarf. 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 Thank you. We have scarf. a scarf. Perfect. Thank you. It is scarf. a scarf. And in this case, you see a person, and that person is the owner, right? The scarf is her scarf, not my scarf, not your scarf. It is her scarf. Tito, tell me, uh, any question at this moment, Tito? Sí, teacher. Este, Go ahead. En, en cuestión de gramática, eh, el, eh, ¿cuál es el, la diferencia entre, permítame un momentito, este, la diferencia entre un adjetivo y un pronombre. All right, all right. In this case, an adjective describes uh, something, right? In this case, for possessive adjectives, is a word that gives a description about possession. Uh, los adjetivos, en general, siempre nos ayudan como una descripción de algo. Y en este caso, los adjetivos posesivos nos sirven para describir a quién le pertenece un objeto al cual vamos a hacer referencia, ¿verdad? Como decir en español, mi botella de agua, right? Mi memoria USB, right? Mis audífonos, right? Están calificando a un objeto y nos ayudan a mostrar posesión. In this case, the pronoun is like a substitution. Los pronombres recordando que nos pueden servir de sustitutos para ya no mencionar algo a lo cual ya se hizo referencia o se mencionó al inicio. Claro ejemplo con, uh, con los personal pronouns, con los pronombres personales. Cuando estamos teniendo una descripción o algo, no repetimos la per el nombre de la persona todas las veces. ¿verdad? Digamos que hablamos de, de Alejandro, 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 Alejandro. En todas las veces que mencionamos a la persona, mejor utilizamos he porque hacemos referencia a él. Entonces, uno puede ser un pronombre y la otra sería un, un, adici un elemento adicional al nombre para mostrar una descripción y en este caso, posesión. Ese es el objetivo. Which I this. Ya vemos más ejemplos por acá. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Take a look at this one. To ask for information about possession, we can use the question whose right that is a wh question whose checking on pronunciation that is to show possession so nos sirve para mostrar o para preguntar posesión como diciendo a quién como a quién le pertenece verdad esa es la idea que manejamos o de quién es verdad esos podrían ser los equivalentes de esa palabra whose whose scarf is this entonces de quién es esta esta, esta bufanda and you see the reference you see the lady the other, vemos ahí a la dueña levantando la manita in the picture. In this case, I can mention it is her scarf. That is a combination of the possessive adjective hair and the noun. That is a combination. The other possibility that we have is this one. It is hairs. And what is the difference? As you can see on this one, it, we can have a combination of possessive adjective in yellow, possessive adjective hair, and the noun or the object we're making reference to, scarf, or the other possibility, and this is like a substitution. Y esto hace referencia a lo que le decía que los pronombres eh, es una sustitución para ya no ser tan repetitivo. ¿verdad? En este caso, the possessive, the possessive noun or pronoun, it is hairs, and that is a combination of hair, a scarf, you make a fusion, and you have only one pronoun. It is hairs. Why? Because it is obvious, uh, it's obvious who the owner is, and it is obvious what the object is. In this case, it is possible to talk about this information with the pronoun, or the other possibility with the possessive adjective. Questions at this moment, people? I see you a little bit worried. Te veo algo preocupaditos. Questions, questions? No question. 
No question. All right, perfect. Thank you so much for your confirmation to this one, all right? Take a look at this one. There is a third form, and in this one, we can show possession, but we are very general. Take a look at this one. I selected a name for the lady, and I say the lady's name is Carla. Same example. Whose, whose scarf is this? And in this case, I can talk about the possessive case to be more and very specific. It is Carla's scarf or the other possibility I can mention it is Carla's. At this moment, we make a combination of the possessive case plus the noun, right? What is the noun? The object we are making reference. It is Carla's scarf. Or on the other case, you can also mention only the name of the person. It is Carla's, right? And simple like that. This example is more specific, right? Because imagine if I tell you, it is, it is uh, his car, right? And you don't know the name of the person. It is difficult to understand, right? There is no reference. And who is he, verdad? Si yo le dijera de entrada un ejemplo, it is his car. Es su carro, el carro de él. Y usted se va a quedar eh, eh, pensando, ¿y el quién? Si no me ha dicho de quién, no, ni sé de quién está hablando. Right? For that, in that case, it is better to use the proper name of the person in the possessive case. Por eso, de inicio, es muy bueno utilizar el caso posesivo, que sería el nombre de la persona, más un apóstrofe con S, así como ven el ejemplo. It is Carla's scarf, ¿verdad? Es la, es la bufanda de Carla. Es más específico el que los ejemplos anteriores. Es de ella o es su bufanda, ¿verdad? ¿Y, ¿Y quién es la persona? ¿Cómo se llama? We don't know the information. This is more specific when you talk about possession about something. Take a look at this one. I have more examples for you. And in this case, we're talking about something singular. Whose scarf is this? Take a look at this one. We have other object, clothing item, and these are shoes. And you see the person is the owner. We create a question in plural. Whose shoes are these? What are the possible answers, people? I need your collaboration. What is a possible answer using the possessive, possessive ad, adjective plus the noun? What should be the correct version? It's his. It are his shoes. Excellent, thank you. They are because we're yeah. talking they about are. A, are. excellent they because are. we're talking about a, an element in plural. They yeah. are right. Yes. They, are. Yes. they are his shoes. Perfect, they perfect. Are. They, they are, are his shoes. shoes. And what is the combination for the possessive for, for the possessive noun? It they are. They are his. His. Perfect. They are his, simple like that, right? In this case, it's similar as if you say, son suyos, ¿verdad? Así tal cual, suyos, son suyos. Pero ¿cuál es el dilema ahí? O no dilema, sino que ella es obvio, el objeto y a quién le pertenece, ¿verdad? En lugar de decir, por ejemplo, my cell phone, yo digo mine. Yo puedo decir mi teléfono o puedo decir mío. Y cuando ya digo mío, ya, ya incluyo el objeto y a quien le pertenece, ¿verdad? Ya no hago más, ya no menciono el objeto cuando es obvio, similar en este caso, ¿ok? It is, they are his shoes or they are his. Take a look at this one. Similar to the previous example, possessive adjective plus the noun or the other possibility using the possessive noun. Ve ahí que tenemos dos opciones. Usted puede utilizar el adjetivo posesivo acorde a la persona, ¿verdad? Más lo, a lo que hacemos referencia, los zapatos de él o sus zapatos, o podemos decir son suyos, right? They are his in this case. Questions at this moment? Questions, questions. No question. No question. Thank you. What about the rest of you? Is there any question, people? Like no you? question, Thank you so much. All right, thank you, thank you. Let's check on this one. 
And the last one, I have the, the personal name of, uh, I have the name of this person, right? The name of the, this person is Juan. Let's do this exercise. Whose shoes are these? What is the correct answer using the possessive case? Utilizando el caso possessive. It is Juan's shoes. They are Juan's shoes. They are Juan's shoes. Exactly. Remember, plural element, plural subject, right? We, make, we need to make a match, ¿verdad? Tiene que emparejarse el elemento plural con el verbo y el, y, el, y el sujeto plural. They are, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de zapatos. They are Juan's shoes. And the other possibility. Juan's shoes. They are Juan's. Just like that. Juan's. They are Juan's. Son de Juan. Literalmente estamos They diciendo. Son de Juan. Y ahí está. Porque ya sabemos el objeto al cual hacemos referencia. Similar to the example before. Possessive case. Plus the noun or only the possessive case, that those are the possible combinations that we have at this moment. Now, we're going to have a speaking practice because remember, this is just a review. And the important part is that you participate and that you express, you express ideas. What is the activity about? Choose three small objects from your house, something that you have close to you. It could be a notebook, a book, a cell phone, a pen, a pencil, three objects. You are going to show the objects to your classmates and they are going to ask you questions like this. When you talk about only one object, it is singular. This is the model question. Whose name of the object is that? that? Y ahí pregunta, ¿de quién es eso? ¿Verdad? ¿De quién es eso? Take a look at this one. Así vamos a hacer el ejemplo. Alguien va a mostrar el, el objeto y los demás van a preguntar. Take a look at this one, right? I have my example of cell phone at this moment, all right? And I need a person to ask me the question, please. Ask me the question that you see on the screen. Formuleme la pregunta que yo les puse ahí. Whose cell phone is that? Whose ask cell me phone question. is that? Thank you. Whose cell, phone is, whose cell phone is that? Thank you. Thank you. It is Alejandro's cell phone. Right? It is Alejandro's cell phone. You see, in that one, I give the reference of the name. Right? Ahí yo doy la referencia a quien le pertenece. Es el teléfono de Alejandro. Ask me the question one more time, please. Again, the question, please. Whose cell, cell, cell phone is that? Thank you. Cell phone is that? Mm -hmm. In this case, it is, it is my father's cell phone. It is my father's cell phone. Right? In this case, I am telling you that the cell phone is of my father. As you can see, the best option when you begin describing a, an object is to use the possessive case. That should be the best one. And on the rest one, uh, if you are talking about something in plural, for example, if I have USBs, I have two elements. In this case, you mention a plural, you create a plural question, whose, the name of the object, and then you use the verb in plural. Don't forget about that one, right? Plural element, plural verb, right? That is something that we need to remember. For example, Let's imagine, whose glasses are those? Imagínese que yo tengo unos lentes, porque ahorita no tengo a la mano, right? And you, uh, and you ask me that question. Tito, ask me that question, please, that you see on the screen. Uh, the last one, whose glasses? Whose glasses are those? All right. Mm -hmm. Usemos la imaginación. Digamos que yo tengo aquí un par de lentes. Uh, and I answer in plural. They are my sister's glasses. They are my sister's glasses, right? Possessive case glasses. and in plural, right? Recordamos ahí que si they me preguntan are. en plural, respondemos they are. Si es solo uno, vea la pregunta tal cual. Y también respondemos, eh, respondemos it is, ¿verdad? Singular, singular, plural, plural right? That is what we are going to work on. Remember three objects, 
you show the objects and then the person is going to ask you on some questions. Is there any question about this exercise at this moment? No question. No question. No questions. All right. No question. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. At this moment, let's work together. Let me see. To let me work on this one. Let me open the, the groups <clears throat> so we can practice on this one. All right, I will, I will send you the invitation so you can work together and remember, ask the question and try to respond on your classmates information. Thank you. Parece que he perdido mi dispositivo de entrenamiento Mulder. ¿Qué? Sí, pasa del capitán Gracie y de su nombre, dirección y códigos de acceso a los cuarteles y un brillante logo de Mulder en ella. ¿Whose eh, cell phone is this? It is um, my mother's cell phone. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Continue with the practice. Please, other person, show the object and the rest of your classmates you create on the question. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, take a look at Alejandra. Alejandra is showing something. Ask the question, please. Whose book is this? Mm -hmm. It is book Madaude. Madaude. In this case, remember to change on the order. Is my daughter's book. Excellent. Uh, one more time. Can you can you create that well, the answer one more time, please? Uh -huh. He, he, it, it is daughter's book. My daughter's book. Thank you. My Thank you, John. Book. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Now, the next person, show one of yet, please. And you practice. Oh, all right. Me, people ask, uh -huh. whose cell phone is that? Mm -hmm. This cell phone is mine. All right, this cell phone is mine. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Just a comment before I, just a comment before I leave. Remember when you talk about an object that is not close to you, the best option is to say that I, in singular. Nada más recordarles que cuando formulamos la pregunta, como el objeto no está cerca de nosotros, entonces incluimos la palabra that si es singular, no la palabra this, ¿verdad? Porque this quiere decir este, ¿verdad? El que tenemos acá, cerca suyo. Y ahí está diciendo como a ese, ¿verdad? El que está lejos, siempre es singular, pero hay una diferencia entre cuando esté cerca suyo y cuando el objeto está lejos de usted. Entonces, en ese caso, pudiéramos preguntar, whose cell phone is that? ¿verdad? Whose book is that? Right? En ese caso, si fuera singular. Y si es plural, what is the best one? Help me, I need your collaboration. Si fuera plural, ¿cuál utilizamos? 
Those. Exactly. Thank you so much. Si fuera plural, utilizamos those. All right. Thank you. Continue with the practice, ladies. Continue checking, showing some objects, and continue practicing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, teacher. No. Thank you. Who is? They are my. My. El objeto, no sé qué era. Case. Case. Sabes. Case. Ah, case. Ah, okay. They are my mother case. They are my mother. I'm They are my mother. Okay. Para Esmeralda. Who is Kuta, verdad? Who um, leaks are thousand? Leaks? No, es otra cosa. Repeat, please. Mm -hmm. Whose dress is that? Red? Whose no dress? Dress? Dress. Dress. Okay. Dress? Oh. Um. It is my, it is my dress. All right. That's a possibility. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good job. Remember, if possible, remember to show on the object, please. Si es posible, recuerde mostrar el objeto, ¿verdad? Y usted lo muestra y sus compañeros son los encargados de preguntarle, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo les muestro acá una botellita de agua, los demás son encargados de preguntarme de quién es la botella que yo les muestro, ¿verdad? Ah, Así sería okay. más que toda la práctica. Entonces, ahí ustedes me preguntaran, let's do it together, hagámoslo juntos. Yo tengo por aquí la botellita, ¿cómo me preguntarían? Who's, Who's bottle of water? All right. All right. Whose bottle of water is that? ¿Verdad? ¿De quién es esa botella de agua? Y yo le respondo, it is mine. It is mine. Or I okay. can say, it is my bottle of water. The two options are okay, right? It depends on your selection. Ahí podría ser, dependiendo cómo quieras responder, las dos en ese caso son ¿Puedo llamas. preguntar, perdón, puedo preguntar, whose counter are those? Uh, in that case, if you, are, if you have only one control, it should be is, right? Si tenemos solo uno, utilizamos la forma singular. Whose control is those? Is this. That, is this. Is this. Is this porque usted lo tiene cerca, pero sus compañeros tendrían que decir como Marlon lo mencionó. Whose control that. is that? ¿Verdad? Porque el that es para singular, pero cuando el objeto está lejos de usted. Entonces ahí, ahí, exacto. Y le prestamos atención al verbo en singular. ¿Verdad? Verb to be in singular, the object is singular, only one, and also the demonstrative adjective. Ese es otro tipo de adjetivo que es demostrativo, ¿Verdad? Este, o aquel, o ese, ¿Verdad? En ese caso, como está lejos, sus compañeros deberían utilizar that en las preguntas, ¿Verdad? Ha, whose cell phone is that, si fuera singular. Si fuera tal, si usted tuviera dos controles, la pregunta sería... ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? Ah, those, excellent. Whose controls are those? Ah, ahí el verbo to be va en plural porque estamos hablando de dos objetos. Y, y no la palabra. Menciona, no se le puede poner el número. Who, whose two control I those? It, it's dos. possible. If you want to be specific, it's possible. It's got, it could be possible. But the majority of people don't include that one. Es opcional, ah, pero es opcional. la mayoría de gente, ah, exacto, es opcional. La persona solo pregunta como de quién son esos controles, ¿verdad? Sin, ah, sin hacer tanto énfasis en la cantidad, porque el objetivo es, es saber a quién le pertenece. En la cantidad podría ser opcional, pero no tan relevante ah, para el tipo de pregunta. Whose controls are those? ¿verdad? ¿De quién son esos controles? Ah, uh -huh. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Continue working. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. Good job, people. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay. Zelda, puedo preguntarle. Continuemos. Eh. They are mine, mine keys. Uh -huh. um, Otro objeto. Acá. Uh -huh. Es una. A flower. Flower. A flower. Okay. flower. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, whose flower is that? It is, uh, it is uh, Guadalupe's flowers. It's Guadalupe flower. Excellent flowers. to be very specific. Thank you yes. so much. Perfect. Yes. How are you doing with the practice, ladies? Excellent in the practice. Very good, so, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. All right. Thank you. Continue. <laughs> One more example. I want to listen to you. Thank you so much. One more, please. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, the, the toys. All right. Perfect. Uh, uh, yes. Guadalupe or Fatima ask the question. Right? Uh, oh. Whose toy are those? Uh -huh. Whose toys are those? Uh -huh. And the answer, Miss Hernandez, they, they are? They, they are my son's toys. Excellent. Hey, you are doing perfect. Thank you. Congratulations. That's yeah. the objective. Thank you so much. And the good part that we help each other. Felicitarles. Lo estamos haciendo muy bien. E igualmente, yo sé que la actitud es súper positiva y nos estamos ayudando mutuamente si es que se requiere. Así que les felicito. Nice. Sí. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. Nice. Thank, thank, you, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Veamos. Ahí la hay. Nos, nos llegó Ay. el tip. Hola. Hola <risa> Está, como estábamos repasando las que teníamos, ahorita estábamos eh, eh, intentando armar otras oraciones. No problem. That's perfect. That's perfect. Just for the practice, uh, can you show one of the elements that you already practice and ask the question? Solo por cuestión de práctica, para yo escucharles, alguien muestra un objeto y las otras dos compañeras preguntan a quién le pertenece eso. All right, thank you. Marian, Marian is showing a cell phone. Okay, Claudia or Carolina, what's the question? How cell phone is that? Cell phone is that? Perfect. Whose cell phone is that, Mariana? It is my um, daughter's cell phone. Excellent. My daughter's cell phone. Excellent. Perfect. Good question. Good answer. Thank you. ¿Cómo se dice sacapunta? Sharpener. 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 Yes. Sharpener. Okay. Ajá. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you. I will check another group and we have approximately two minutes to finish on the practice. Voy a chequear a sus demás compañeros y lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Tenemos dos minutos aproximadamente para seguir preguntando. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. O sea, sí estábamos bastante de champón. Yes. They are Xiomara scissors. Dos. They are Xiomara scissors. Yes, uh, are, it's mine. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, fine. Continue asking questions. Take a look at the other object. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> no. Okay, right. vamos a ver. Voy a preguntar al... Algo más en plural, algo más... Ah, ya, ya, ya sé. Espérame. ¿Cómo se dice vaso? Glasses. <laughs> Whose glasses are those? They are Xiomara's glasses. All right. Yes, my... Show one other object, please, and continue. Thank you. Continue. Perfect. Whose pencil is this? Is this Stephanie? Stephanie's Stephanie. 
Stephanie. This is Stephanie's pencil. All right. Yes, thank it's you. mine. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Is there any question at this Solo moment? The teacher se pone en la fila. Ah, ajá. Thank you, Daniela. <laughs> really? Ajá. Ya les echó de cabeza a Daniela, ¿es cierto? No. I know they work. Mentira, I know they work mentira. all the time. Sí. Yo Estamos sé que todos... Atendiendo. Excelente. Yo sé que todos son aplicados. No sé por qué pueden estar... Yo sé que Daniela está bromeando y yo igual, ¿verdad? Yo sé que todos le echamos ganas. All right? Perfect, perfect. We're going to return to the main room. Thank you so much for the practice. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you, Welcome, welcome everyone again to the main room. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. Congratulations on all of you. I was checking on some rooms and you are doing really nice on this information. So that is really good, 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 good. So congratulations and continue working hard. At this moment, I am going to check on the attendance. So when you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are still part of the video conference. All right, let me see on this. Uh, Alejandra Gabriela Perez. Present teacher. Yeah. Ana Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Azucena Enriquez de Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Brian Joalmo. Present. Thank you, Carolina Abigail Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Cindy Tatiana Vasquez. Present. Thank you, Cira Berfalia Aguilar. Present. Thank you, Claudia Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Erika Vanessa Marroquín. Present. Thank you, Esmeralda Janet Mendez. Present teacher. Thank you, Evelyn Abigail Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Fátima del Carmen Amaya. Present. Thank you, uh, Giselle María Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Indira Nirvana Hernandez. Present teacher. Ana Ivania Guevara. Present. Thank you. Jose Hernan, I guess he's not here at this moment. Josue Abraham Lopez. Right, Jose, probably not available at this moment. Carla Guadalupe Pacheco. Present. Thank you. Carla Lisette Mendez. Carla Lisset Mendez. All right, I continue. Luis Daniel Rosa. Present teacher. So much. Madeline Beatriz Moran. Present. Thank you. Uh, Maria Jose Sandoval. Probably not available at this moment. Uh, Mariana Dolores Moreno. Present. Thank you. Marlon Napoleon Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Rina Estela Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Stephanie Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Marisol Campos. Present. Thank you, thank you. Tito Alberto Hernández. Present, chair. Thank you. And Xiomara Alejandra Marroquín. Present, teacher. All right, perfect people. Thank you so much. Congratulations, or let's see. I was checking on the platform and most of you already finished with section number three from the platform. That's really nice. So continue working on this one. Uh, 
I just need the collaboration of Alejandra Gabriela Pérez. Nada más pedirle su colaboración, Miss Alejandra, para seguir eh, con el contenido de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Yo veo que la mayoría ya terminó la unidad 3 y en esta semana ya estaríamos trabajando la sección 4. ¿Verdad? De nuestro curso. Así que animarles a todos. Si algunos veo que ya incluso terminaron la sección 4 y eso es muy bueno, les animo a continuar. ¿Verdad? Y así si tienen dudas, eh, en la medida de lo posible, yo trato de atenderles y ayudarles eh, cuando pueda. ¿Verdad? Que a veces no me queda un poquito de chance y las disculpas del caso no es que les quiera ignorar sino que a veces ando súper ocupado, pero de repente hago tiempo y de ahí puedo eh, darles cierta guía de cómo responder algún ejercicio. Mr. Tito, tell me. Solamente eh, recomendarle ahí eh, jengibre y mielita para la garganta y esté con todos los poderes. Sí, <laughs> yeah, I need that one, actually, right? I need one. Necesito bastante. Ahí tengo miel, de hecho, ya, ya voy a ir a Limón. hacer el... También. también, también, miel y limón y té de manzanilla. Y tengo una sola que tengo que darme un tratamiento at this moment. All right. Thank you so much, people, for the effort to be here. I appreciate that. Have a good night. A perfect day tomorrow. And see you next time. Right? Thank you. 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 Thank